First, let me apologize for making that video last too long. I'm trying to keep them down to five or six minutes right now. So I'm setting my clock, and we're going to talk about text. Text is basically characters we type into the workspace or wherever, surrounded by a single quotation mark on each side. Text. If we were to inspect that text, we would find we have what is called a byte string. It has four values. Those values are actually the computer numeric values for T, E, X, T. Now that's not very helpful unless you happen to have memorized all the values of ASCII. So let's try a different thing. Let's say text at 1. Recall that this is an array, so we can say text at 1 and print it, and we get this dollar sign T. Dollar sign is how Smalltalk identifies a single character. So if we were to say text at 3, we should get an X. And indeed we do. Now, suppose we were to say sum text colon equals text. Now we know what we're going to get. We're going to get again, inspecting it, we're going to get a byte array text where the first character is 116 ASCII, 101 ASCII, etc. Now, suppose we were to say text, comma, text, and evaluate it, or do it. Now we inspect it, and we get a byte array that is 8 long. And in fact, when we do it, put a comma between two objects of type text and evaluate it, it creates a new object that is the merging, the concatenation of the first object and the second object. So we get text, text. And in fact, we could do something interesting here. If we put parentheses around this, ob this set of objects, remember parentheses means do whatever's inside. So when we evaluate it, it creates an invisible object with no name of that's these two pieces of text merged together. So if we inspect it, we still get a byte string or we can even do at 7, colon at 7, and print it. And sure enough, we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We get that 7, that second x right there. So string is useful. We can say transcript show text, concatenate text, and sure enough, we see it. Or we can say transcript show text at 5, carriage return, will this work? Nope. It doesn't know how to do this message. It thinks that this entire thing is show at, and transcript doesn't have a show at message. We'll explain more about that later. So let's put parentheses around this part of it. We create a new object of text. We want the value at 5. We want the fifth element, which should be whatever that is, T E X T T and then we're going to add a carriage return. And just so you can see it, I'm going to clear that and go, and sure enough, there's the fifth letter of that string 
TEXT TEXT at 5 carriage return so you can see we can do reasonably powerful things with text there's my bell saying that it's five minutes let's do one more thing we have some text call it text and we're going to ask if is we're going to create a variable a and we're going to put that text into a and now we're going to test a equals text 1 and we're going to print it and it says it's false why because we know that a contains text and we're testing to see a equals text 1 we know that's false and indeed so does Smalltalk. Now if we were to say A equals text and print that entire line, it would say true, because indeed the text we placed into object A is indeed equal to text. So now we are going to show how to do an if statement. if true we have some kind of test here if true we send it the message if true and something that it will do if indeed it is true so if true transcript show it is true And in fact, if we evaluate this, it is true. If we evaluate it again with something we know is false, we don't get anything because we don't have a false statement. So let's do an if then else statement. If true, show it is true. Notice there's no period after this because this is all one statement, all one sentence in small talk. You have your test A equals text 1. If true, show it is true. If false, show it is false. Now we select and evaluate the entire thing by doing do it and it says huh because I misspelled if false let's try it again it is false if we do it again A equals text it is true because a indeed is equal to text so now you know the simplest of the true and false tests, what are called if, then, else in other languages, if true, if false.